Mom, how was work? Yeah, it was busy. We had a cat who got its tail stuck in a sliding door, <laughs> a nervous parakeet, and oh, a monitor lizard that swallowed a dog toy. So when he walked, he squeaked. <laughs> Patient's doing well. Indeed. Well, I got you this. <laughs> I thought my son could appreciate a fully chewed, chewed toy. <laughs> Gross, Mom. Oh, by the way, can I have a Halloween movie night? Please. Let's talk about it in the morning, okay? Go back to sleep.
evening, kiddo. Did you sleep well? Sure, though uh, I had a weird dream. Monster, alien, chainsaw maniac? No, I was, uh, I was in college and I didn't know why I was there. So I dropped out. Is that your nightmare or mine? Hey, I haven't even been accepted to college yet. I have plenty of time to find myself. Yeah, you can find yourself in college. Okay, I'm not working the night shift at the pet hospital, so you can hang around here watching ghoul movies and playing video games all day. And eating pizza rolls. I love me some pizza rolls. Besides, look at this house. We live like kings. No, we live like people who got a great deal on a short-term rental because a formerly sick Pekingese had a very grateful owner who also just happened to be a real estate agent. And when the economy gets better, we'll be shipped back to the mean streets of Van Nuys. Hopefully that's after I get accepted to film school. Yes, hopefully. Oh, bummer. I forgot it's Friday. Ted will be here with donuts. Maybe, I mean. Oh, come on, Mom. Ted is like the moon or something. You always know when he's gonna pop up. I thought you liked him. He's all right. I mean, you like him, right? I do. Because you spent so much time making sure I turned out all brilliant and awesome like I am, right? So I'm just glad you finally have somebody in your life. But I'll bet you the first maple bar that he will be buying the next two minutes with a dozen from Donut Prince. He'll ask you how your week went and blow you a kiss because he doesn't do public displays of affection. He'll ask you what DVDs you got in the mail and watch whatever one you want tonight over Chinese. No, no, pizza. Nope, Chinese. He's really that predictable, isn't he? Oh, of course. I thought that's what you liked about him. Hmm. Now, about my Halloween plans. Yes. I have a list of haunted houses that we need to visit in order of spookiosity. And I'm going to need the car Saturday. <laughs> no way. You are not driving on Halloween. I'm a good driver. Yeah. When you're paying attention, it's Halloween, okay? You're going to be in ghost, ghoul, movie overload, okay? Google-eyed. Let's see. Uh-huh. Driving on two wheels, dreaming up new monsters. Absolutely not. I'm driving. Fine. <laughs> I have a map of the houses and the fastest route between them. You know I almost have enough money for my own car. Yes, you do. But until then, you're still mine to control. Hi, uh, Yang. Hey, Ted. Okay. So, how's your week, Linda? Yeah. My week was fine. Good stuff. So, what movies do we have tonight? We've got a few. Thought we could watch when I got it since it's Halloween. What's it called? Blood Spatter of the Zombie She-Wolf. Well, okay, whatever your mother wants to watch is fine with me. Maybe I'll pick up some of my pizza after work, huh? Oh, who am I kidding? Your dinos will be packed on a Friday. Well, we'll just get Chinese. Hear that, Mom? Dumplings. You called it. All right, guys. I'll see you after work tonight. Mwah. And the maple bars are mine. Hey, Ted. Yeah. Um, we've been seeing each other for about a year now, right? How about that? And. I really enjoy the time we spend together. I'm glad, me too. But, but do you think maybe we're stuck in a rut, maybe? What do you mean? Well, I mean, there must be places that you want to visit or things you want to do or places you want. I mean, you never really talk about yourself. Oh, baby, I'm boring. I did not say that. Look. I know you don't have a lot of time with, with your work and with Adam, so I'm happy in my little corner of the world. Why'd you want to watch another movie tonight? No, it, it's not that. I, I just want to talk about the future, you know, our future. Sure, Linda. I'll do whatever you want to, but I'm happy. 
I don't want to mess what we have. I love you. I'll be late. Gotta go. Have a good day. You too. Okay. Why can't I ever keep the body parts together? Mad scientist having some problems? Hey, Molly. Bring me a present? No. It's a book. I see it's a book. You have a lot of them. I like to read. It's overrated. Fine. I won't show you then. Oh, uh, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to show me? Fine. Just give it up. Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. You're cute when you're mad. Look at this. It looks cool. Kind of like the Necromicon. The what? The Necro... <laughs> Never mind. I'll just show you the movies. You know, you seem so smart. And then you're so not smart about the things that matter. I like sci-fi. Horror is boring. Why are we friends again? Because you're lazy and I live a block away. That's true. So where'd you get this thing? Dark delicacies in the valley. They got a whole bunch of books from some collector. The owner didn't know what to make of it since it's all in Latin. Look at these pictures. Cauldrons, plants, animals. This is like some medieval witch's spell book. I know, isn't it cool? I figured it might add to your Halloween night movie thon. Maybe we could do a spell together. Uh, I don't know where we're going to get what looks like the horn of a unicorn. Most of that stuff has modern equivalents. How do you know that? I'm just interested in it, that's all. No big deal. You're a witch. Oh, please. I read a lot about a lot of different things. It makes me smart. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now where's the broom, Harriet Potter? I'm gonna go put this in your house so it doesn't get messed up. All right, and then you can come and help me sit up for the trick-or-treat crowd. Oh boy, can't wait. <laughs> Out back putting up Halloween decorations. I know. Just wanted to say hi. That's nice. Um, grab a donut. Adam made all the maple bars, but I think there's a jelly left. Thanks. How are your folks? They're good. Do they still have that cabin in the foothills? Yeah. Looking to go on a mini vacation? They always said you can use it whenever you want. Yeah. I think I am. Tomorrow. Really? Yeah, I've got some personal stuff going on, and I think going away for the weekend would be the perfect way to take care of it, one way or another. You and Ted. Oh, gosh, I am so sorry. I should not be burdening you with this. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call your parents right now. Thank you, Molly. You are such a good listener. I don't know what I said. Oh, not the twins. Hey, not wild. What you doing? Looks stupid, whatever it is. Nikki, Chad, how's it going? I asked you a question. Actually, you didn't. But uh, I'm making a trick or treat display for Halloween. Halloween, huh? I like Halloween. I like seeing little kids scream. We're making a haunted house. It's gonna be at our place. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's gonna be the scariest thing you've ever seen. I don't know. I've been to the Haunted Hayride or the Horror Hotel at- No way. Ours is gonna be scariest. It's gonna be in our garage. It'd be totally scary. Sure. Well, if you guys are involved, I know it'll be scary. Yeah. Oh no. The twins. So, we'll need to borrow some of your stuff. What? Well, I'm... I can't... Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of using it. Like my brother said, we're taking some of your stuff. I'll be a good little neighbor. 
Sheesh. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, Tiffany. I'll send Molly over to get the keys for me. Thanks again. Bye. What's up? Oh, the twins. Yeah. Chad makes it a point to borrow whatever book I'm reading. I don't even think he knows how to read. Oh, I guess I better go rescue him. Hmm. Don't think any less of me if I want to stay in here and check out your decor. No. Oh, Miss Wildwing. Looking beautiful as always. Thanks, Nikki. Uh, it's Wilder. <laughs> oh, of course it is. Um, no, Adam was just letting us borrow his Halloween stuff for our haunted house. Was he? Yes, he was. Yeah. Well, you know what? I need to speak to Adam right now, so if you guys could come back later, say, Monday would be good. Uh, Monday won't work. Uh, that's November already. But it's okay, Miss Wild, and we'll just take this box and go. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Yeah, see ya. Not oh, wild. Sorry, bud. We can go get some more Halloween decorations later. Nah, it's okay. Kind of figured they'd be by, so I kept all the cool stuff inside. That box they just took off? Full of moldy old newspapers from the garage. Oh my gosh, so when life gives you twin lemons, you decide to make the lemons <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> I'm not sure you totally thought that through, kiddo, but I like your style. What's up, Mom? Oh, listen. Ted and I... Getting married. No. Oh. I mean, it could be the opposite. You're gonna kill him? I'm being serious, okay? I, I like Ted, but something you said earlier got me to thinking, and, you know, I'm really not sure if our relationship is... Going anywhere? Yeah, and if that's the case, I, I'd rather find out now rather than later. And by now, you mean in November, right? Not, not on Halloween, my favorite day of the year? Molly's folks have lent me their cabin this weekend, and I really want you to come with me. But Halloween, zombies, werewolves, vampires, clown. Okay, okay, look, I know it's a really big day for you, but I'll make it up to you, Adam. I mean, you, you are man enough to know that you have to, you know, take care of things like this right away. Ignoring them and hoping they go away never works. I want you to be happy, but can I stay here? I'll be there. For you. Oh, I will make it up to you, I promise. Thank you so much. So, how are things? 
Did you know about this? About what? This sudden trip to your parents' cabin? Not really. You could have given me some warning. You're supposed to be my wingman. Your mom only just brought it up. I didn't know why exactly. This is all Ted's fault. I thought you liked Ted. I like going to Mr. Flyswatter's haunted garage and seeing what new creatures he's dreamed up this season. I like watching as many horror movies as I can on three separate screens while eating piles of candy pretending that it's human flesh. You're so weird. You know what they give out around this neighborhood? Whole candy bars, not just those little ones. And you know what else I like? Halloween. Halloween! Now, now I don't have to be able to do any of those things. You're helping your mom out though. You're doing a good thing. Yippee. You're a good guy. That's why I like you. This stinks. This weekend is going to be a giant suck fest up in the woods with trees and birds and emotional baggage and crying and all the other things I find gross about human beings. You want to go with me? Sure. Sounds swell. Good. Go pack your bags. Your parents have DVD player, widescreen TV, cable. No. You. No. Why? Why? I'll find something to cheer you up. I promise. Why? I mean, trekking out to a neighbor's cabin for an overnight trip to discuss the future? Yeah, I think we need to, Ted. I care about you, but I, we need to have a conversation outside of our comfort zones. I'm not just outside my comfort zone, baby. I am outside my comfort zone. It's not a bad thing. You know, honesty is good. Anyway, I have wanted to have a weekend away with you for quite some time. And you wanted to leave tomorrow morning? First thing. Well, I have to pick up my car from the shop. I still got their rental. Mm -hmm. And I need to pick up some work from the office. I mean, could we do this maybe next week? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate you taking the bull by the horns, but I just hope my horns do more than honk. Listen, if you have things to do in the morning, you can meet us up there. It's only about an hour, okay? I'll get you the directions, and um, we can have the cottage aired out, and I will have some iced tea brewing. Well, that sounds pretty nice. Do they have a hammock there? Or a rope swing? They might. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna get the directions for you. And we are gonna have a great time. I knew it was too good to be true. Nuts. What exactly is this supposed to do? Make you feel better. All right. How? Well, if I'm reading this right, you're supposed to feel a sense of well-being, and the object of your stress will be transformed into a raging, flesh-ripping beast from the lower depths of Mordor. Isn't that Lord of the Rings? I'm paraphrasing. Wikipedia isn't so up-to-date on 13th century demons. I kind of feel bad about turning dead into a demon. <laughs> you do know I can't actually bring forth demons with an old book. I'm just trying to cheer you up with some mumbo jumbo. Yeah. I'm curious where you got all these candles and potions and stuff though, if this is all just mumbo jumbo. It's just interesting. It relaxes me. Told you. Okay. What now? Okay, we say these words. Ted, Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Ted, Klaatu, Veranda, Barada. Brando. Barada. Mariachi. Stop messing around. This is serious. I thought you said this was for fun. Okay, fine. Ted, Klaatu, Barada. Nikto. Necktie. Adam! Molly! Adam! Molly, what are you kids doing? Uh, nothing. An art project. Yeah, for science. Neato! 
Boy. <laughs> I'm so tired all of a sudden. Adam, can you tell your mom to send me directions? I have to lie down. <laughs> oh my God. We're so weird. You're weird. I'm totally cool. When did the candle go out? Don't know. That's weird. Whatever. I should get going. I'm glad I made you laugh. Me too. See you tomorrow. Yeah, he was tired and he said he was going home. He said to send the directions to his phone. Oh, God, I thought I was going crazy for a second. No, nope. no crazy here. You know what? Thank you for doing this for me this weekend. Well, I know nothing's going to stop you when you set your mind to something, especially when it's important to you. Good night, Mom. Oh, good night, sweetie. Hey, sleep well. See you bright and early. Fall asleep on the couch. Uh, I need a shower. God, I feel fuzzy. What time is it? Mmm, it's so comfy. Maybe I should just close my eyes again. Adam! Get down here! Adam! Linda! Oh, hi. Sorry, I fell asleep on the couch. I don't know what happened. What's that? Why are you looking at me like that? I was gonna ask you the same thing. I don't know where he came from. Linda, can you hear me? Well, he came from somewhere. How did he get in? Adam, Linda, please, what's going on? What is wrong with me? Why can't you hear me? Well, the little guy got in here somehow. Maybe he knows you're a vet. I'm being serious. Well, I don't know. Seriously. So what are we gonna do with the little guy? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to take him with us. I've got a carrier in the garage. Go get dressed. And you, little guy, are coming with me. What do you mean, little guy? Oh, what's going on? Please, talk to me. What the heck? How did you just pick me up? There's no way my dad is working this well. Please. Talk to me. Tell me this is a dream. Please. Ugh. I look terrible. Look at that. You look great, Linda. Look. I'm a puppy? Oh! What? Please wake me up. Please wake me up. Now, now's the time I, I wake up, right? I'm gonna wake up. Here I go. I'm gonna wake up. Uh, oh, I don't want to be a dog. Come in. Little light reading for the trip. Why not? You made you smile last night. Uh-huh. So, we have a little guest for the trip. How so? A stray puppy came by last night. That's weird. Maybe someone dropped him off because they know your mom's a vet. Maybe. I don't know. So, no chance your mom will delay the trip? Nope. When my mom sets her mind on something, she follows through hardcore. 
She finished five years of vet school in three. So breaking up with Ted is on the top of her to-do list. If it was, she probably would have done that last night. I don't know, Ted's her first real boyfriend in a long time. I don't know what to expect. So maybe the weekend won't be so bad. I did mention it's Halloween, right? I was hoping you might forget. Hey guys, come on downstairs. Get some donuts, let's go. Great. Halloween donuts. Scary faces and orange sprinkles. Let's go Sir Chuckles of Gloomy Town. Shotgun. Good. I like sitting in bed. You're no fun. You two are no fun. But we're fun. So we decided to come back for some more Halloween props because the box you gave us is filled with rotten newspapers. Whoops. Hey, nerdly. That's an old book. Kind of creepy. We'll take it. No, we have other stuff you can have. Better stuff. Good. We'll take it all. Oh, no. The twins. Yikes! We're leaving and we're on a schedule. Arr! No, 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 sweetheart, get in this door. Let's go, puppy. Yes. Good job. Oh, hello, Miss Wild Mud. Uh, Adam just promised us some Halloween props for tonight. Yeah, it's tonight, you know. I will have a very stern talk with my son about this. But in the meantime, we've got to go. So if you two would please not let the gate hit you in the butt on the way out. You tell him, Linda. <laughs> Sorry we're late. I had to get this one to piddle before we left. And don't think that wasn't the most embarrassing experience of my life. Let's never talk about it again, okay? He's so cute! Well, I've never thought about it, but sure. I am pretty adorable. <laughs> yeah, there's a carrier if he gets too wild. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to me? I can't believe this at all. Hey, 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 what's that smell? Oh boy, everything smells so good. Oh God, I like it in the car. Yes, I do. Ooh, 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 something like a bacon and waffles. Oh boy, can I shoot my head out the window? Please, please, I love the car, I love the car. Ooh. This is gonna be great, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. When are we gonna so get excited. there? Oh my gosh, you, he You're asked such that. a whiner. He asked that every three seconds. Yeah, you, you watch. You know what? Every three seconds. I'm supposed to be looking up like all this zombie stuff, but no, we're out in nature and. It's yeah. gonna be so much fun. And I did I let me say it again. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It's so important to me. You're a sweetheart. But that's a very good question. If we were to keep him, which we're not, what will we call him? No, 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 no. What will we call him? Okay, what will we call him? What will we call him? I don't know. I think. Joe. Come here, Joe. No, Joe doesn't want to. Joe. George. Watson. I like Watson. Watson. Yeah. I think we should call him Chubby, though. Hey. Oh, oh, you're, just oh, you're not chubby. <laughs> you're not chubby, puppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Mom, what are you doing? I think I should take the little guy for a walk. Unless you want to be responsible for accidents. Oh. Right, uh, accidents. Can I do it? He's been staring at me the whole trip. Sure, just don't go too far. We won't. I'm gonna grab some water from the back. 
break. How you doing, kiddo? I'm doing all right. Well, I want to thank you again. I know this is the last thing you'd want to be doing on your favorite holiday of the year. Ah, uh, like I said, I know it's important to you. And I want you to have a great guy in your life. A great guy after me, of course. Ooh, yeah, of course. And how do you feel about that? About what? About me having a guy in my life. I mean, it, not that it would be Ted necessarily, but, you know, it's been a long time since your dad left, and you don't get to see him as often as you'd like. That's okay. Dad's complicated. And at the same time, he's really simple. That is an interesting take on him. But you, I mean, you sacrifice everything for me, for yourself, for your career. And Dad, Dad's still trying to find himself. I'm sorry about that. I really am. But unfortunately, a leopard can't change his spots. I think a better expression is a zombie cannot change his desire for human brains. <laughs> you are my weird son. <laughs> and you're my mom. And you deserve to be happy. Even if that means torturing your loving son on his favorite holiday. Mm-hmm. That is the guilt I was waiting for. You're a teenage boy, after all. Thanks. That's part of our handbook. Chapter one, guilt as a means of getting more gifts. So obviously, this trip is going to cost me big time. Oh, no. I would never do that. Oh, no, no. Not you. Uh-uh. But it would probably make me less sadder if I don't know, got a flat screen TV or game console of my choice. Duly noted. Here comes Molly. All right, so time to get back on the road. Give me a hug, you sweet boy. No. Wow, it's beautiful. Very pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. I'll give it that. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. We had so much fun. No zombies, no Halloween, no pumpkins, no anything. Don't be such a downer. There, oh. there may be a pumpkin. There oh may God, be a zombie. A real one? But that's boring. Oh, like, come on. Who wants an actual zombies pumpkin crawling anything. out of the ground? What? I want a freaking jack-o'-lantern. We can carve one. You if may have time. Jam a jack-o'-lantern. Did you bring this up? Didn't think so, because we're out. Middle of nowhere, with a puppy that we're probably not even gonna. You know what, Mom? It, you, you're lucky. I love you. Oh my! I know. I I I am lucky. I'm the luckiest mom ever. <laughs> See? It's lovely up here. Jack-o'-lanterns you passed? Two! That's not lovely. That's criminal. I, I know you're not very happy with me right now, but I love you anyway. Hey, why don't you and Molly go for a walk? I'm sure someone has an awesome Halloween display somewhere. A walk? A walk? Let's go Cranky McGrums a lot. It's not that big. Have fun, you two. And you, let's check you out while we wait for Ted. Oh, the painful irony of that statement. Seriously, look in my eyes. I'm Ted Gimble, CPA, member of the Rotary Club and upstanding citizen. I vote. I try to eat organic. I have a goldfish named Mr. Socks. I, oh my word. That is the stuff, yes! To the left, to the left. Oh, ho, ho. belly rubs for the win. Oh, 
yeah. Oh, yeah. How's my nose? Because I think I smell great. By that I mean I smell lots of things. Though puppies smell pretty good. <laughs> I would be a little giddy. Oh, it's suddenly being a different species and all. My ears are good too. I can hear things I never thought you could hear. You do know there's a rat in this cabin, right? And I think a raccoon is under the sink. And don't think me unmanly or undoggedly, but I'm not messing with any raccoon. Wow, look at this, a tail. Okay, that's pretty nifty. Although I'm not a very old wagger. I have to work on that. Ooh, 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 that's good too. Ooh, scratch there, scratch there. A little harder, a little softer, a little softer. To the right, ooh, 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 that's the stuff. Yeah. There's only one good thing about this place. Only one? No, Nikki and Chad. Ugh, twins. I have come to realize that they are my lifelong arch enemies, you know? How so? We went through elementary school together and they would take my lunch, they would throw my junk on the roof of the school and generally make my life terrible. That's awful. I know, right? But then one day, this patient of my mom's gives us this great lease on this ridiculous house. It's a beautiful house. Well, sure, but it's plenty dumb too. I mean, it's big, it's wide, and let's face it, the decor inside, that's just silly. Well, it's kind of true. Yeah, well, I'm excited because now I get to go to a new high school and I don't have to be bullied by them anymore. But they live down the street from your new place. But they live down the street. They're not twins, you know. Well, they kind of don't look alike at all, so I, I figured that. I kind of named them the twins. You did? When I was little, I planned our yard. They'd come by and take my dolls and rip them apart and put them all back together again, all Frankenstein-like. That's mean, but kind of cool and creepy looking, I'm sure. Okay, it was mean. And I bet those dolls didn't deserve it either. No, they did not. Anyways, I was angry, so I blurted out they were the twins of evil. But they aren't twins. I think they're related. Or from this planet. <laughs> You just might be right about that. Where are we going anyways? You'll see. You actually like it up here, don't you? I do. It's peaceful. It just has an energy. Oh, brother. There's more to life than movies and video games. <gasps> Bite your tongue. Them's fighting words. Not bad. I mean, it should, of course, be larger, but it's got some nice touches. You know who lives here? I do. Molly, it's you! Oh, I thought you might be nearby. I'm so excited. Who's your friend? Rachel. This is my friend, Adam. Hello, Adam. You seem dubious. No, ma'am. I was just admiring your decorations. I love Halloween. You did a good job. Thank you. It's such a wonderful time of the year in so many cultures. Why don't you guys sit down and I'll make you some lemonade and uh, then you can tell me all about last night. Tell you about what? The spell you two cast. You tapped into some really major energy and I'd be curious to see what became of it. Toy. Let go of my toy. Oh boy, I'll get it. I get it. <laughs> Look at me. I'm fetching. <laughs> uh, I'm bored with fetching. What else you got? Oh, Linda. You're way funnier than I ever knew. And your smile. Gosh. I love that smile. I love you.
Oh, that is the stuff, yes! Hi, Ted. It's Linda. Um, we're at the cabin. There is a hammock out back, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. We have an extra traveler bunking with us, a really cute bulldog puppy who can't get enough ear rubs. But um, you'll see him soon enough. I'm, uh, I don't mean to take up all your voicemail, um, so can't wait to see you when you get here. Okay, bye. Molly, I'm glad to hear that your parents are doing well. They're such nice people. And you, young man, your mom sounds like quite a woman. She is. Thanks for the lemonade. Oh, it's my pleasure. You know, I so love having visitors, especially ones with a little magic in them. So tell me about the spell. I found an old spell book. I'd like to see that. Do you have it with you? That's why you brought it. I'll bring it over later. And you did a spell from this book? No. Yes. I didn't think so. Well, it sounds like quite a busy night. I mean, we didn't do it right. Besides, we were just fooling around. Honey, you know as well as I do, there's no such thing as fooling around. And there's energy all around us. And if you're keen to tap into it, it can do some wonderful, magical things. How do you mean? Well, it can soothe and heal. And it can also do destruction and harm and, and all kinds of things in between. Am I being vague enough for you? You know, Molly here is quite the wealth of information on these things. You might ask her about it someday. Yeah, I probably should. Just bring the book around later, and we'll make sure that you didn't accidentally open up some portal to the netherworlds. The netherworlds? <laughs> if you said an incantation wrong. What happens if you said the words wrong? I, I mean, I, I was just kidding. You can't kid about these things. One wrong word, and, oh my! What? Oh, it's happening! What, what, what is Haven't it? Haven't you noticed? What? Your hands have turned what? into tentacles! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> oh my gosh, I really, uh, I had you going. Uh, <laughs> you thought you were a squid for a while, <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you? Got to love Halloween. <laughs> Who knew chewing on stuff could be so relaxing? Uh, nine, nine, nine. Oh. Mm. I'm tired. Playing is hard work. Really takes it out of you. So tired. And it's so snuggly. Maybe if I just sleep for them. Rabbits. Rabbits. So, how'd you meet Rachel? She seems interesting. Oh, she is. In a lot of ways. My parents and I have been coming up here since I was a kid. One of the first times I went for a walk, went too far and got a little lost. I can see that happening up here. I blame the trees. Anyways, I didn't know what I should do. And just when I thought I might cry... You got locked in an old ghost town jail by a weird old prospector. No. Saved by a mystical Indian boy? 
No, you watch way too much TV. You say that like it's a bad thing. Anyways, I don't know how, but Rachel just knew I was nearby and needed help. Sounds like some spooky magical stuff. <laughs> Ironic coming from the guy who has a zombie survival kit. Hey, that can happen, okay? That's science. Besides, you have to like somebody who made you think you turned into a squid. <laughs> well, I didn't actually, like, I, I didn't. I, whatever, let's keep walking. Chipper. Did you have a nice walk? It wasn't what I expected. I took him to a friend a few cabins over. She's a fan of Halloween. Well, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad someone's having fun. Why? What's wrong? Ted should have been here by now. He hasn't called. I can't reach him on his cell. I'm sure he'll be here soon. I mean, if he left later, I mean, Travis just gonna get worse. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I'm here. I'm right here. Somebody has to see that, right? The puppy sure picked up. The little guy had some fun, but seriously, I'd like to be me again. What's the little guy doing, by the way? He's healthy and he's cute. I'll give him that. I'd like a little more, please. Like, like my legs back. So, Mom, any thoughts about us maybe finally getting a pet? I mean, come on. It's just too coincidental that he showed up like this. It is. No. No, I've told you before, we don't need a needy little guy underfoot. What we need is to save our money. So you can go to college, and I can buy myself a little shack somewhere to call my own that I can retire in. You're too practical sometimes. Practical? Practical is what's kept me moving forward, and kept a roof over our heads, and shoes on your feet. You know, and I'm sorry if that's not enough for you. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. I should take a walk. Want company? No. And from bad to worse it goes. I'm going back to bed. You, uh, want to get some iced tea? I need it. some iced tea. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I shouldn't have lost my temper. I'm just so worried about Ted. I'm sure he'll show up. How can I get Lennon's attention? Mm. I'm just not sure I know what I want from him. How do you mean, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. You have become quite a smart young woman. Let's see, how do I put this? Um, have you ever wanted a boy to notice you in a romantic way? Yes. I think I know what that's like. Well, it's great when it happens, right? And if you're friends before, it's all the better. You know, and you can enjoy a lot of each other. I can see that. Okay, so there's a step after that, right? And it's a really big one, where you acknowledge your hopes, your dreams, faults, fears. You know, they support you, you support them in growing and being better people. Am I making any sense? I think so. It's okay to want that, right? Of course. Because I, I feel like Ted is just okay with being friends. A and that's lovely, don't get me wrong. But I want more, and bless him, but <laughs> I think men can be totally clueless sometimes. Well, you should tell him. Oh, right. That's what you're trying to do. Yeah. Oh, Linda. Mm. It's, it's really difficult putting yourself out there, right? Because you might not get the answer that you want or the answer that you expect, but I think it's still really good to do it. Well, I hope. <laughs> He seems to agree with you. If you're not going to keep him, what are you going to do with him? Yeah, I'll take him to the pound on Monday. A family will adopt him right away. The pound? Oh, no. That's no good. I have a family. 
I don't want a new family. I don't like kibble either. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to be such a jerk. No, I'm sorry, okay? I was really upset about Ted. Come here, and I shouldn't have taken it out on you. Oh. Mm. I was just uh, <clears throat> telling Molly that being a proactive adult stinks sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm sure Ted will be here soon. And we should take that book to Rachel's before he does. Okay. We'll be back soon. I'm sure Ted will be here by then, and we can get some food. And later, some ghost stories around the fire. Yeah, that would be nice. Came up with a cool one on my walk. It's about a zombie chick that gets hungry, deep fries her own face, and eats it. Ah, uh, I retract my statement, okay? That's not nice, that's gross. Why does it have to be a chick? Because if it was a dude, it'd just be silly. You're so weird. <laughs> Thanks. What can I do to prove I'm me? It has to be something I can... Chipmunks! Okay, okay, not chipmunks. I need to focus. There has to be chipmunks! Man, I don't know why, but I hate chipmunks. How can I get Linda's attention? Maybe if I bite her fingers. No. Maybe if I lick her some more. No. Maybe if I chew on her clothes. No. Why is everything I do so cute? Is that the book? Yeah. Have a seat. What did I do? This book is very old and contains some very powerful magic. Um, tell me exactly what spell did you do? What did I do? Oh, sweetie, you couldn't have known the power contained in this book. It should never have come to light. It's okay, Molly. It can't be that bad. It is. Well, can you help us fix it? No. Can you help us find someone who can fix it? There isn't time. Throw me a bone here. What do we do anyway? This spell is a spell of transfiguration. There's only a few practitioners who could even attempt to accomplish it. And that would take years of training and guidance. But the book, it had the power stored in it, didn't it? I knew something didn't feel right. Yeah, um, yeah, this never should have come to light. And certainly not without having this power drained of it first. And you had the misfortune of tampering with it on Halloween. What's so big about that? Every religion, every tribe regards this time of the year as sacred. The line between the living and those that have passed over is the thinnest now and easiest to cross over. So all these energies just added to the spell's errant power. So if I had done the spell on St. Patty's Day, I'd have a pot of gold right now. No, that's a completely different spell with a completely different book. Super. So, what undead beast did we unleash? You didn't unleash anything. You, um, transformed someone. Who? Into what? Did you use the proper potions? Yes. Did you light a ceremonial candle? Yes. Did you say the correct words in the correct order? No. What exactly did you say? I said a bunch of different things. I was just goofing around. I told you not to do that. I know that now. Look, I need you guys to just calm down. We can fix this, but I have to know what you said. Klaatu, Barada. I was messing around. I said a bunch of different words. But you said Barada? Yeah. And then what? Necktie. You didn't say Nikto? No, I didn't. See, we couldn't have transformed anyone. Perhaps, as long as no one said Nito. Wait, what? Nito! Nito. It's a term that bespeaks all manner of tricksterism. Didn't Ted say Nito? Who's Ted? Is he the object of the spell? Yes. And he said Nito. Nito! 
What? We actually turned Ted into something? What is he? You might want to ask Molly. I think she has an idea. What kind of awful mutant beast did we turn Ted into? A puppy. What? Think about it. He said the own trickster word for his own spell. And then Ted disappeared when the puppy showed up. It'll make sense. No, none of this makes sense. You're telling me that we turned my mom's boyfriend into a Halloween puppy. Oh, I'm so grounded. Now this puppy is with you? Yes. You need to take Ted back to where you did the spell and take the spell book with you. Do the same ritual, but say the words in reverse order. And he'll change back? He should, but you don't have any time to waste. Why? It's Halloween night. I can't be certain if you'll ever have the power to change him back again. And if that's the case, then he could be a puppy forever. And please, bring the spell book back to me. I have to put it away properly. I will. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I didn't know. Uh, sweetie, it wasn't your fault. Look, you know, we all make mistakes. It's how we take care of them that proves who we are. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay. This is crazy. You're all just pumping me, right? Yeah, th this is a, a big trick to freak me out in front of my mom. All right. If you're some wisdom dispensing witch, prove it. Okay, let's go. Good luck. This is actually happening, right? I trust Rachel, and I believe her. Do you? Well, kinda. That's not what I want to hear, though. I thought this was just a good practical joke. I wish I could say it was. I don't have an overactive imagination or anything. And believe me, I usually think that the worst, most terrible things are gonna happen. And then things usually get really bad. Well, stop doing that. It's kind of my thing. I know, but look, Adam, I'm sure everything's gonna be just fine. How can you be so sure? Let's just get back to the cabin and see what we see. But it's me! You know it's me! Huzzah! Sorry about the dog breath. But please, just tell me you can turn me back. We're gonna try and turn you back, but we have to get you back home. What are we gonna tell your mother? The truth? <laughs> oh yeah, hi. I turned your boyfriend into a dog. No! We're gonna lie. A lot. Just follow my lead. Got it. Go get him, Adam. Hey, sorry, I was on the phone. I still have not heard from Ted. I'm really worried now, you guys. Oh, no need to worry, but we have to get back home. Ted called me. He called you? Why? Because he couldn't get a hold of you. Mm. Also, his car broke. No. I thought he was picking his car up. Oh, right. But, um, it broke again. Like, the reactor spar snapped while he was driving, and then mm. truck jackknifed, and a whole load of potatoes on the road. Real smashy mashy. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, uh, well, I guess not entirely, but... <sighs> okay. What really happened is... The truth is, he wanted to do something really nice for you back home, but he got held up. Yeah, a big, huge accounting emergency for someone. He only just finished. He knows how important this weekend was to you and your relationship, <laughs> and he apologizes for not making it on time. He wants to make it up to you. He said that? I had to read between the lines a little bit. He's a little shy about revealing his emotions. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. Well, I, I mean, I guess we could head back home. We'd get a little haunted house time in, if that's OK with you guys. Uh, only if it's all right with Yes. <laughs> OK, so let's hit the road. Yes, great. 
Everything's going to be okay, isn't it? It always is in your horror movies, isn't it? Uh, not really. It uh, usually turns out pretty bad, actually. Sorry, bad example. Okay, look, we'll take the last part of the car ride and make a checklist of what I need, what we need to say, and what Rachel said. It's not that complicated. Nothing that's complicated usually starts out complicated. Unless it's complicated. No, I'm not making sense. Awesome. Don't worry, we can do this. Both of us. You're really good in a crisis, you know that? Thanks. I just hope I don't freak out. What? Nothing. Your mom's coming back. Let's make that list. What does he have? I want to know. I don't know, but I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm sure it'll be a great surprise. I don't know if I, I don't know if I love surprises. Okay, I love surprises. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. Definitely got a surprise for you. I'm sure it'll be great. Oh, look yeah, at him. Wants. So okay. cute. He's so a good cute. boy. Yes, he is. What are you doing? Making a list of all the things I'll need for the... Costume you're gonna wear tonight? Yeah. Actually, do you mind dropping me off at my house before you go home? I need to change before I come over and do innocent Halloween stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. Not a problem. Ooh. I can't wait to find out what the surprise Ted has for me is. Hmm. <clears throat> Linda, one way or another. I'm gonna surprise the heck out of you. I'm gonna let the little guy do his business in the backyard. Okay, great. I'll, uh, I'll get the rest of the bags and let me know as soon as you see Ted. Oh, don't worry. I will. Here. Molly's gonna be here soon with all her potions and stuff, and we're gonna get you back. Because if we don't, well, yeah. Just don't worry. Wait! What do you mean if you don't? You teenagers and your negativity. Perfect. We were just looking for you. Our haunted house is almost open. Just needed one more thing. No! Nikki, did you see the look on Molly's face when we took that book from her? It's just like when we took her dolls. Remember that? Probably. I'd have to check my journal for details. You ever wonder if it's worth it? What? Bullying smaller and dumber kids to see if we have any greater societal worth? It's fun. That's all I know. <laughs> True, but have you ever thought that we're doing more harm than good? No. Uh, I like making people feel bad. Makes me feel good. <laughs> I like that. Okay then. Well, now let's get the rest of this haunted house set up. Because I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing Adam and Molly very soon. And I wanna be ready. I wanna scare them. A lot. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Come on, Molly, where are you? I'm gonna be a dog forever, aren't I? Sad woof. Hey, what happened? What's wrong? Where's the book? I'm sorry, Adam. They took it. Who? The twins. The twins. They said if we want it back, we have to go through their haunted house. We have to. But they're going to beat us up. Yeah, probably. Just wait here, Ted. We'll be right back. Come on. My legs are four inches long. Where exactly am I going to? Vegas?
ready to go in? No. We have to, you know. I know. Give the book back, Nikki. Real scary, Nikki. Give the book back, please. You haven't even made it to the inn. Unless you're too scared. Okay? I'll be fine. Let's just get the book and get out of here. What is that? So it's a plastic spider. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Just get mad. done being in our haunted house yet. You're gonna help us out before the neighborhood kids get here. Just give us the book. Why? I thought you liked haunted houses. I like good haunted houses. Oh, listen to you, big boy. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna lay down on our altar and be our victim for the week. Yeah, and we're gonna kill you over and over again all night and spray you with fake blood and guts and stuff. Then, maybe, we'll give you the book. Oh, your girlfriend looks a little scared. Maybe you should go give her a hug. I'm gonna beat you up either way. Molly? Just follow my lead. You two are gonna give me back my book and let us out of here. Now, I'm not asking again. You better do what she says. You wouldn't like it when she's angry. Oh, please. Just do what we tell you. Ah! We're all gonna die! Nikki, save me! And what exactly did you just do there? Nothing bad. Couldn't hurt anyone. Just cool. <laughs> Didn't you think it was cool looking? Sure. So you're just interested in this witchy stuff, huh? Fine. It's a hobby. Pretty big one. Let's just go, all right? <sighs> Good luck, kid. Okay, we have to say it backwards, the way we did the first time. No funny business. I'm all out of funny. Okay, here we go. Nito. Nito. Barada. Barada. Klaatu. Klaatu. Ted. Ted. What's happening? I'm not sure. Puppy Ted is gone. Where is he? Aren't you supposed to know? Something happened, right? Adam! Molly! It's my mother. What are we gonna tell her? Sorry, that's totally your department. Adam, please, I need you! Where have you two been? Ted is not here, he hasn't called, and I want to know what's going on now. Um... Adam, I'm not kidding around. I want to know what's going on now. Molly and I, we... Linda, maybe I can help you out. Ted? Oh, <laughs> wow! Ted! 
Oh, my gosh. I am so glad to see you. Oh, believe me. You have no idea how happy I am to be seen as me. Oh, look, I know I owe you an explanation for what happened this weekend, but I don't know if I'll ever have a good enough one for everything that's happened. But I've done a lot of thinking about my life in the last day and a lot of napping. What? Never mind. Linda, you deserve a man who will break out of his comfort zone and encourage you to do the same, and vice versa. Especially vice versa. Okay. When it comes to us, I value more than you can ever know. But I've been so afraid to rock the boat, I didn't even notice it wasn't moving. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Kinda. Look, there's a lot of things I've always dreamed about doing or saying, but I've never told you because I know you're the kind of woman who would want me to go do them, even if, well, especially if they were scary to me. So all I can do is hope you give me the chance to share these things with you because, because I'm done just sitting around chewing on stuff. I would love that. Oh. Sounds like a first year treaters. Hey. Do we have candy? We have some by the door. Excellent. Excellent. The twins? We, we were just returning the stuff we borrowed. Yeah, please, if you see Adam, tell him we're sorry. Ah, Nikki, they're here! Run for your life! Okay, I really want to know what the heck was going on today, but you know what? Not now. Does anyone know any good horror movies? Who? 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 <laughs> that was a good movie, kiddo. Ted and I really liked it. Go figure. We're up for a double feature if you are. Definitely. I just need to go and grab something really quick. What's up? Why'd you come out here? I forgot something. And now I remembered it. And I'm sure my mom's going to realize it any second now. What's that? Where's the puppy? Oh, right. Maybe we could just tell your mom the truth. Yeah, I guess that's not such a good idea. Maybe I could say I left him and took the dog and joined a traveling circus. Adam! Adam, where are you? Out here, Mom. I have to make a call. I can't find the puppy anywhere, and Ted doesn't know where he is either. Well, there's a little puppy inside all of us, isn't there? Adam, I'm serious. He was sleeping in the back room, and he's nowhere to be found. And there's a perfectly good reason for that. And it is? Uh... My friend Rachel came by and picked him up earlier. She's interested in adopting him. We just didn't want to say anything, because you and Ted were We were kind of having a moment. Uh, there were lots of trick-or-treaters. It was a busy night. I just thought it'd be one less thing to worry about. True. And I checked him out, and he seems healthy. But I really would have liked to have logged it in with work and the animal shelter. Oh, God. Hang on. Hello? Oh, hi, Rachel. Yeah, he, he is a beautiful puppy, isn't he? But I... Oh, you had your vet check him out, too. But... Okay. You're gonna get him to the animal shelter and make sure he doesn't belong to anybody. So, it sounds like you have absolutely everything under control. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk soon. Thanks. All right. Bye. This has been a very strange day. So, let's go watch another horror movie before it gets any stranger, okay? Molly, I... Let's go. I heard your mom. I should get home. It's been quite a day. I'm tired for some reason. 
Adam, you should walk her home. It's Halloween night, it's scary out of here. Right, right. Good night. Good night. Holly. Happy Halloween. Hey, you. It's just oh, all yeah. Oh, yeah. More. Higher. Higher. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, looks like another boring Halloween. Maybe next year will be exciting. Nope, I'm hibernating next year. No more scary witchy stuff for me, ever. Oh, come on. It was kind of fun. Okay, maybe a little. Thanks. Cool. For backing me up, protecting me, not running away. Anyone would have done the same. <laughs> no. Not anyone. You. You know, I learned something tonight. What? Sometimes you have to go after what you want. So... Does this mean you're my girlfriend? It better, or I'll turn you into a frog. Oh, will you? Or maybe a possum. How about a pelican? That way I can hold your boats in my beak. You're just kidding about the being able to turn me into a frog, right? Maybe.